You were talking about 500 Cap Street, your house, and I uh, wondered if you could talk a little bit about its significance in relation to your work. Well, that's a good beginning because, uh, in a way, it was kind of a rebirth or a beginning for me. I, I moved from New York, where I had been for a year, and I needed a place to light and studio and do all the things that we think that we need, you know, mm -hmm. as um, art makers. And the house uh, originally was just intended to be a place for me to do those things, kind of my laboratory or my studio. And when I got into the house and started a certain investigation, I, I got so caught up in it that it seemed to me to be the, a thrust that I should pursue. Up to that point, the work I was doing looked a little bit like, let's say, the walls of the house. I was working on, on uh, monochrome panels that were essentially had a distressed look to them. And mm -hmm. so when I started scraping the wallpaper off of 500 Cap Street, I started to see uh, a similarity in the work that I was coming. It was kind of studio work, and it seemed to be much more legitimate for me to to do it uh, in an actualized space. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mentioned also on, on Tuesday the, um, I discovered architectural changes in the house that I wouldn't have found had I not, let's say, stripped the wallpaper out. What I was stripping the wallpaper out for was that it was in d damaged and in bad repair, and I was just, <coughs> you know, trying to, to get rid of the, uh, uh, the previous owner of the house and kind of put him, put me in his place, get get rid of his smells and his his marks. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I was finding relics that he had left that I was uh, caught up in. Some of these I chose to think of as social systems. You know, the brooms um, that I found in every corner of every room in the house, rubber bands that he collected from the newspaper, and I started to sort of clarify and identify these these collections that he had left me. I didn't have anything to do with collecting them. I just sort of brought them forward. Mm -hmm. And um, so these, I got caught up in this. And after the architectural uh, discoveries, the changes, alterations, social alterations, social systems, I couldn't go back to the normal studio work because it seemed like this had so much more integrity for me. Mm 